So we start with the most cheap way of taking a picture and using light, which is the natural light that we have. And usually when you are taking pictures in the room, it looks actually very boring. If I take a picture right now anywhere, it will look very boring. But if I find a light source, you see, here we have a window and the light is coming in and you see the light here on, on our left side and you see the shadows here. And this is a very nice, great contrast, nice drama. And I just take a picture here. I have the black curtain here. Maybe I can just put it a little bit more. So we have a black background and I just take a look. It's a little bit bright, just like this. And you know, she can just sit here and it will look beautiful. So you see, I take some pictures from above. I'm a buffer now. Take a look out, out of the window. Now I'm on the same level. Oh yeah, t t take a look down. Oh yeah, just like that. Very beautiful. And I take a picture from, from below, from here. So I have to take a look at how to focus. I just use automatic focus. Maybe one more, a little bit closer. Just like that. Okay, very nice. And you see, when I take a picture from here, it will, the, the light will not be so beautiful. When I take a picture from here, it will have much more shadows in her total face, and it, it, it doesn't look that beautiful. I can take a silhouette, that might work. Maybe, uh, well, I don't know if that's okay. Okay, we take, we try another one here with the brick wall. You can just stand here. Maybe I put this away. And this also, just like that. So oh, everything's good. Okay, so the problem right now is here is a wonderful light, but the more we go into the room, the less light we have. So here, it's, it's much more difficult to take a very beautiful light shot because there is no more, there is not much light here. She's evenly lit. So everything looks the same from the light position. But the background is nice. So I thought I'd take some pictures here. Maybe just like that. Maybe you look a little bit down down to the ground oh yeah oh yeah that's that's also nice okay now maybe we go to another window so let's see I just turn this around and maybe we go yeah maybe I put it here okay that okay so I keep on uh, recording because I want to show you how I improvise the pictures um, and I just take any window place the model at the window and she can look outside of the window so let me see now this is much brighter oh that's nice that's nice. And oh, it looks beautiful. Okay, maybe one more from here. And oh yeah, that's also nice. And I'd like to take a picture here. I like the background. I want the background blurred out. Maybe a little bit closer like this yeah you can um, yeah let me take a look uh, 
hearts. It just... Okay. Oh yeah, that's, that's also nice. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Okay, and I like to go to the, to the mirror. I'll just take this guy with me. Um, let me take a look. I just place it here. So what I like is to, I zoom a little bit in. Let's get a little bit up. Just like that. Okay, let me just check the focus. This. Okay, so photography is always about telling a story. And it's very nice when she's just standing there looking into the mirror. Uh, you can just look into the mirror and maybe you play with your hair. Yeah, just like, just like that. I have to be careful to not be on the picture. And I, I, I like Anna to be on the picture in both ways, from the back and from the front. And maybe go a little bit over there and uh, yeah, like this. Let me take a look. Here. Well, a little bit over here. So I want to be on the side where the light is coming. Oh yeah, that's, that's also nice. Let me see. Maybe I, I, also, I am also on the picture. That might also be... It might work. You see on the background we have lights here and lights there. And so it, it's a little bit like a studio. A film studio. Maybe even just get a little bit closer. Can you get closer? So I'm on the side where the light is. Light is coming from here. It's, it's not that much, but it's it's enough. Maybe just oh yeah, that's okay. From here we have more contrast. And maybe just one more from here. Oh, but this is very dark. Okay, I think that's that's enough. Okay, yeah. We take just some more with the with the hat. Do you want sunglasses as well? Or just like that? Okay, maybe we can try. Okay. So we use our one of our accessories, the hat. Yeah. Okay. It looks wonderful. So how can we play with that now? I'd like to take a picture just like... I'll come a little bit closer to the window. Yeah. I just checked the camera. Okay, that's very nice. Yeah, just look outside of the window. And a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Let me take a look. That's nice. Come a little bit closer. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe you turn a little bit more like, oh yeah, yeah, look outside the window, just like that. Now I only want her uh, mouth, I don't want to see her eyes, just a little bit of her, yeah, yeah, ma make a kiss, a kiss mouth. 
Okay, and maybe also from, oh yeah, maybe look to the right. So this, oh yeah, just like that. Let me just check. And I take a picture from, from here. And you look, yeah, or maybe you go a little bit over, go a little bit over, over there, yeah? Okay, yeah, there, there, I have the, there I have the light. I'm always looking to have the light on my subject, and my subject right now is her face. And actually her whole, I try to get a little bit further away so I can get more of her on the whole picture. But I, I, I very often like to focus on the face because that's where the emotion is. The face has the emotion. The face has the beauty. And it, the face tells the story. The rest, the rest is there just to add some facts to the story. You know, where are we? What, uh, what kind of woman is, is she? So therefore I need the rest. But the, the main subject for me is the face. I always want the face to be there. The rest is just add on. And maybe with sunglasses, I use a 35 millimeter lens right here. Oh, that's also nice. Oh yeah, that's, that's wonderful. And look to me. Oh yeah, that's, that's powerful. You know, I, I'm, I'm taking a picture from down upwards that makes her more powerful. And I have some very nice shadows here. So this is very nice because the sun is coming from above and here are very nice shadows. So let me just check. You see, I take many pictures. Um, that's just my style. You know, that's that, because I, I improvise very much. Oh. Okay, now we've seen what we can do with only the light we have inside a room. Look for the window, get her face onto the window, and for me, the face is always the most important part. You know, I like a nice dress, I like some nice accessories, I like the details, but the most important part for me is the face. So I always focus on the face, because the face tells the story, the face transfers the emotion. The face is what we can all connect to. And the whole heart of an image is in a face. So I try to have the face as big as possible. It also depends on what, what lens you use. I just used the 35mm lens, so it's more a wide-angle lens. So I often have, have this. And sometimes everything, but when I take a picture of everything on it, um, the, the, the face is very small, and I'm losing the, the emotion. I get, I get more details. I get more details when I take a picture of everything. I get more details. What kind of woman is she? Where does she come from? Where are we? But I'm losing the emotion. And I always love to take pictures that transfer emotion, so I always focus on the face. And now we're going to take a look what we can do with flashes.